Hej på dig, svenska talare, Swartz Metal, that is Swedish speaking uh, black metal. Not exactly Swedish talking or speaking, but this one comes from Sweden and it's an interesting uh, new solo project called Contempt of the Light, with the debut album here in the darkest of times. What makes this so interesting and worthwhile, especially worth mentioning, is that this is a side project or of a famous Swedish musician and vocalist, Mr. Brubatty. Mr. Brubatty is mostly known for his work in the Swedish black metal band on Animated, but man, has he gone through various bands throughout his careers being one of those Swedish veterans in the business. Now those of you who know my past and know the contents on my channel know that I really do like what Unanimated have done with their music throughout the years, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the very early works or the first album. I mean, it's decent, but far from being what the band later on got to be. But in that band, uh, Mr. Brubatty is only known as the vocalist. Only and only, but you know what I mean. Not so much in songwriting, not so much picking the guitar, creating riffs and so forth. At least that's what officially said. But here you can see all songs written, arranged and performed by Mikael Brubatty, as well as their lyrics. And this one has been very much recorded in Sweden and mastered by none less than Mr. Don Svane. Svane Earth, you be, <laughs> you ni sound. I tried to, so hard to have this kind of uh, Swedish tone to my uh, speech that I almost speak what I don't even try to say. Anyway, this brand new album that is out not before July 2021, uh, was delivered me very, very quickly, right before um, it is in the uh, shops and stores and all that. But make no mistake, this one is very much ready to be pre-ordered. So what you can see here, in essence, you don't have to be a real Sherlock Holmes to see that there is indeed a church in flames. I'm sure Mr. Vadivikinus of Burzum and lots of other people here, including me, would be kind of happy to see that kind of a sight for sore eyes. All right, um, without further ado, there is no Metal Archive side for the band, because, well, this is the first album of the band, and since it's not yet there to be sold, well, even if it, though it's pre-ordered, so I uh, can't really show you the backdrop. But here is what the record label is showing, the Silent Watch Records is giving you all the basic information what you need. Content of the Light, coming from Sweden, discography, Justice Album, Mika Bluberg, vocals, all instruments, and recommended for fans of Dissection, Unanimated, and Sacramentum. Um, this is very easy to actually believe, uh, given that the, what the music is. It's melodic, it's kind of a traditional second wave black metal, and very, very shrewd sounding. So it's not just, you know, by uh, accident, it's not uh, coin... I mean, it's very much just more than mere coincidence that these bands mentioned here are all Swedish and that this is an animated connection mentioned. Now if we take a look for an animated page and then again click for Mika Brubari or Mikael Brubari. Well here it says something a little bit different uh, surname, doesn't matter. You can see that he has quite a track record for many many bands. Unanimated being the biggest one in terms of releases and fame I guess. But there are also other bands which are worth mentioning. But what really makes this album worth listening to is like, this is taking you back to the 90s. Except maybe for the production, which is more about modern day. But let's be honest about it, already back in the 90s, especially with bands such as Dissection and Animated, but not only uh, limited to those ones, you already had this kind of a very, very crisp and clear sound. Some might even make the bold claim, being negative jokes, that it's quite sterile. But let's be honest about it, this is the kind of a sound, 
the kind of a production you're looking for when we're talking about this kind of black metal. And obviously you have the trademark raspy vocals here, so there is nothing exactly new and phenomenal on this album. Now, this could be seen as both ways, you know, it's kind of a two-edged sword. If you approach this uh, thing uh, from a negative angle, you might say, yeah, it's already been done for 30 years. Bands such as these mentioned here, and also bands like, you know, Dark Funeral, or Mergrooting, even Marduk to a certain ex extent, uh, have done this kind of stuff. I mean, it's melodic, sweet, it's black metal, so why would I bother with this one? Now, coming from the more positive angle is, why wouldn't you like a little bit more of the same kind? After all, if you're liking all these bands, and some of them are defunct, Dissection for example, like, why wouldn't you go back for more? But a little bit of a different lineup, given that this is not an unanimated release, but, well, a new band or solo project, as the case might be. Now, in my opinion, this is very, very easy to listen, this is very easy to enjoy, but it is also suffering from the symptom that happens to be the kind of main problem with so many debut albums. It's not exactly anything phenomenal in the sense that there is nothing really original. The uh, songwriting isn't, you know, mind-blowingly good. I mean, it's quite good, clearly, and there's nothing wrong with the production of the vocals. But also, at the same time, it's more like work in progress. Now, given that this is the first uh, release by the new project, it's kind of, a, you know, understandable that with the uh, first album, you rarely hit the export as well as what you're gonna do later on. I mean, bands have this tendency to progress and evolve. That's kind of a given. But, well, some cases, Emperor, I guess, uh, would be a prime example for that. Sometimes the first album exactly the best. So, uh, there's very interesting to see which way the band or project will actually evolve from here. Now, in my opinion, Content of the Light is very, very much worth listening to. But it's at the same time, like said, it's not gonna be the super brilliant future classic album. I'm a little bit doubtful about that. Because once again, it's more about going to the safe path, continuing the journey what was already begun like some 30 years ago. So once again, it depends on your angle, whether you're listening to, or well, more like expecting to listen to something really, really new and different, or going to the safe path, which you've liked so far. So. In case you are not allergic to Swedish melodic sounding black metal, the very traditional 1990s way, this is an album for you. So uh, go check it out. Uh, at the moment, I'm not sure. We will, I will check it out after this review is being done, whether or not there will be streaming services uh, out there later on. And I can really up, uh, kind of update the review later on with the links provided. But at least for the time being, this is up for pre-order if you got already interested. But in case not, wait for the samples and give it a listen when you can. And then obviously it's up to you to decide whether or not this is worth your money. I have said my words about it and I kind of like it. I mean, I like it, but kind of like a lot. And uh, with these words, I hope you give it a go. You will find more information on the project's Facebook page, which is there linked. So go enjoy it and uh, let me know what you think.